Praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ, both now and forevermore. Amen. Ave Maria. I wish to use this medium to thank God for the gift of life given to us and for His divine graces and protection so far. In a nutshell, we are blessed. My dear brethren, let us reflect on this theme, God's love and man's love. Divine love and the human love. Taking a look at the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 25, verse 31 through 46. If we read this passage of the Bible, we will understand that what showcased itself most is love. We now ask ourselves these questions concerning love thus. Who do we love? Who do we show love? Where is our love? Where lies our love? What is love for us? When do we show love? Whenever we talk about love, people can give so many definitions according to their own understanding. Love could mean anything to any person, to any organization, to any institution. Love varies according to our own human understanding. If you do me good, I do you good, people will see it as love. Now, let us take a look from this Bible fashion, from this passage, Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 through 46. Concerning who do we show love? We show love to every human being, not minding the ups and downs we experience or encounter while doing so. And it is from this line of thought that Jesus drew his passion for love. To show love to everyone, both old and young, male and female, rich and poor, and so on. And whenever we show love unconditionally, we will fulfill the divine wish and mandate on us to be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect, to love as He loves. When we look at the description of our Lord Jesus Christ with sheep and goats, those who will come on the last day and ask so many questions, how is it that we see you? We never did this. How it is that we encountered you and we never did that. And the some who channeled their love unconditionally will ask, how did we see you and we did this? How did we see you and do that? Our love as human beings lies where we benefit mostly. And this tells more about our frailties. Our love should be directed to all and sundry. Love for us is all about thread by butter. And love for God is all about sacrifice. Christ 
in his love for us died for us which is enough sacrifice can we sacrifice for our own selves can we sacrifice for our friends can we sacrifice for our brothers can we sacrifice for our sisters can we sacrifice for even our enemies and because the love of god in us have died we do not show love even to our blood brothers and our blood sisters even to our relations there is no more love hatred everywhere here and there we should love at all times and not occasionally as we think loving occasionally may warrant our failures to divine mandates to love always and this is seen in the gospel of this Saint Matthew we are some asked how they should love that is those that loved unconditionally and the others asked how they never showed love that is those that loved conditionally and Jesus classified them as sheep and goat respectively my dearest in Christ as we are opportuned to witness and also be involved in this Lenten season of the year 2022 may we in our deepest hearts ask God for his divine grace and mercy and intervention to be his instrument in this moment of trials as we deny ourselves so much things in this life for the sake of heaven and taking a look on what our holy father pope francis the first said concerning this lent concerning this our fasting concerning this our almsgiving he gave his own fatherly advice that no act of virtue can be great if it is not followed by advantage for others so no matter how much time you spend fasting no matter how much you sleep on a hard floor and eat ashes and sigh continually if you do no good to others you do nothing great so let us help ourselves let us help each other to attain this final goal to attain this final desire to attain this divine wish for of us to be with him at the last day so let us not be counted out during this judgment time let us also know that everything about god is love everything about god is love the summary of the commandment of god is all about love love your neighbor as you love yourself the golden rule do unto others what you would like them to do unto you whatever we are doing whatever we have as we could see faith hope and charity but the greatest of everything is love let us exercise this divine mandate in us let us help to be the instrument of god let us help to preach this gospel to the ends of the world 
this gospel cannot go far unless we carry it along ourselves. Let us preach the good news. Let us do good always wherever we are, wherever we find ourselves. Let us remember that what God is calling us for every day is to love. We cannot love if we do not forgive those who trespass against us. Let us love each other. Let us cultivate, let us develop this love. If we find it difficult to love, let us remember that we will also find it difficult to preach this gospel. Because this gospel is only preached out of love. May God grant us His graces to be His instruments wherever we are, wherever we find ourselves. And then, at the last day, may we all gather in His bosom in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Peace be with you all.